Good afternoon, guys. Buenas tardes. Buen après-midi. How are you today? So over the weekend, I tried cigars for the first time. And I wish somebody had told me earlier that it was sweet. I didn't know that. I thought it was like regular cigarettes. And by the way, I was dipping it into some sweet liquor to make it even sweeter. I love hookah. And before I was diagnosed with asthma, I used to do a lot of hookah. But hookah got nothing on cigars. Today I have on a black and white dress with my black earrings to go with it. To deliver the following message god is constantly using you so this morning i called i was at, at the, i was i needed to get some lab work so i called yesterday i called the officer asked them say what time to what time are you coming this is what i need done they say from seven to four i say what do i need to bring in just bring in your notice and bring in your id sounds good so i get there this morning uh, a little over seven maybe at 7 20 in the morning and uh, I tried to see self check thing. I tried to check myself in and I couldn't. The, the number didn't match. So I was assigned a random number. And when I was called, I told them, I gave them the notice. They're like, oh, for what you're getting done, it's actually from 10 to 4. I say, yesterday I called on purpose because this is my first time here. I don't know how you guys uh, work. Well, the call center is somewhere else and they are not notified of this because it's a temporary. Uh, it's, it's temporary right now. We are short stuff. I'm like Great, so I went to sit down and she told me she calls me back She said by the way because I, I can't see you until 10 so anybody that comes to get What in uh, uh, the other option that they gave done? I will take them first and you'll have to wait So I said I counted maybe 10 patient at the 11th. I was like praying inside silently jesus fix it god fix it you are on the throne you are the ruler of the universe so shortly after that two minutes later she calls me and i go there and she gets it done i was done by 8 48 after one hour and 28 minutes of waiting so i left and i said thank you so much for seeing me before 10. so i was in the car and i was like praying to god i said god i'm patient i don't know why you put keep putting me through these situations where I have to reveal patience and that's when he spoke to me and he told me that's not for me it's for the people so God's used me today to show everybody at the lab work this morning that you know you can be gracious you can be patient and you can have exercise self-control at all times this situation could have randomly ex escalated if I had gotten mad and gave her a piece of my mind but it's not worth it it's never worth it i pride myself on you know spreading love joy and peace above all as kindness because the people that are the meanest to you the least professional to you need most need kindness the most need professionalism the most so i did that and i left i go to my leasing office there was an issue i put in a ticket online on friday and nobody got back to me so I could go to the office and say, hey, I'm following up. Can you please uh, send somebody to fix this? Oh, you have this issue? Let me see. I need to come inspect that myself. And this is not even maintenance guy. He's the guy who puts in the order for the maintenance people to go out. I said, sure, come and inspect it. So again, it was patience. Because this world can quickly and easily drive you to resentment and anger and impatience. But it's not worth it. We are representative of Christ, so he's using us to spread his love, his kindness through, his, through, through our actions. It's him living in us because people, so that people can see that there are other ways to do things. It's okay to be kind. It's okay to be patient. It's okay to have self-control. So er, er, next time you go through something, you're like, okay, God, what did you use me for? And who are you using me to teach that lesson to? And nine after ten, just believe with all your heart, he will point out who is using you to inspire. And most of the time, it's the people, the offender. <laughs> He's using you to inspire the offender because without you, you are as close as they've seen to kindness, as close as they've seen to patience, as close as they've seen to love and loving. So just, just take it, receive it, 
receive it, receive it. I know because I'm like, Lord, why again? We've been through that, that path before. So this has been the story of my life, trying to teach others. That's been the story of my life through kindness, through patience. Now, you need to stand your ground. Just don't be nasty. Kindly stand your ground firmly and people will respect you because I, I found that it is my job to make people do right. So I'll make them do right because people, when they meet me first, they're like, oh, she's bubbly, she's full of life. They try to get over on you, they try to take advantage of you. That's when you stop it and show them, I am kind by choice, but here we will be accountable. Here we will be responsible. Here we will be civilized. Here we will speak and get through whatever is going on. We're not gonna use passive aggressiveness because that doesn't help anybody. So act the way Christ would have acted. Act the way the Bible asks you to, as much as possible. I know that sometimes, you know, you just get out of control because it's too much. You pretty much snap. But he never gives you more than you can bear. You've, you've been chosen for that assignment because you can carry it. You can complete it. So again, next time, you, 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 it seems like you're going through the same lessons, through the same tri trials, hardship. Lord, okay, who am I helping this time? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to, to use me to show that to others. Because... Again, in the world, people, they need to see to believe. If somebody has never been exposed to patience, they don't know. That's the only way they know how to act. You know, they're the product of their environment. That's the only know. So seeing the difference, like, okay, I can do better. But they don't read the Bible. They don't have time for that. <laughs> Very seldom do the people who go to church even read the Bible. But it has become like a trend fashion. So that's why I'm spiritual, not religious. I... I know the Bible tells us about fellowship. I have fellowship. I used to host Bible at my place, but to go to a church, a building, churches these days are businesses. I found the very few churches, I can count those on the tip of my fingers, that are really Bible-based and all about God. So if you find a church like that, go there. But again, uh, you can create, bring the church at home. So you can, to learn more about that, to watch my video, create your own sanctuary. For the full outfit and hairstyle, follow me on Instagram at Aisha for His Glory. Don't forget to like my Facebook page, Dress for Success with Aisha. Email me any inquiries at Aisha, number four, is glory at gmail.com. The spelling of my first name is A I C H A, it's French. That's what you're hearing, by the way. For any inquiries, because I'm an accountant and notary public, a wedding official and fashion stylist. So let me know what's your desti vacation destination this summer and how I can dress you and your loved one depart. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Talk to you soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah.